Let's see if all the partitions show up. There it is. We took and moved the uh, the computer because it was making some stanky noise. Say hey, McMullet. How's it going? In your faders. How you doing, Daniel? Good. Marco is switching out bulbs. What are you doing too? You're testing. You have a thing, a tester. Oh yeah, I'm just making sure that. Bulbs I'm pulling out are actually dead. Sometimes it's not. Really nice. Gotcha. How's it going so far? It's going good so far. Good. So I came in early this morning, Dan. Yeah. And I fired it up on my own. Yeah. And I pulled up. I, I pulled up uh, some stuff. We're, we're gonna have so much fun. This is so much fun. Yeah. What did you uh, What did you pull up? Uh, don't leave a light on. And then I also tra I set up a bunch of mics and I had some students go in and I was testing out different mics and. Just, just, this is gonna be. Did you learn anything? Did I learn anything? Did you, did you... I, I, learned, I patched everything in right. Yeah. That yeah. was, that was game one. Yeah, no, that was all. Oh, wait, what I didn't learn was when you boot up the board, it doesn't boot up in, uh, in the right mode, so you have to hit a couple of the switches. So that was a, that took a little bit of, uh, what Marco. Uh, mix, mix mode, mostly I guess. A mix mode. Yeah. Yeah, mostly what it cut. This stuff comes up kind of random. So. Yeah. But also, Marco's changing all the bulbs so that we know when things are in or out. Because if yeah. they're missing, then you kind of don't know. Like you know, you won't see, it will be visual. You yeah. visually won't see if it's on or off. Yeah, like those were all those. That bottom row there was no good this morning. Yeah. And now it's on. This is gonna be so much fun. The other thing too is I put the computer down on the floor. Down here, Daniel. It was instead of one. Uh, instead of up there, because it was too loud. Okay. And the other thing, uh, I put the six-way box through the through the uh, the Furman. So all you gotta do is turn on the Furman and okay, fire up cool. the computer. That's good, because we were uh, having a little trouble figuring that out. Right? Yeah, and the other thing too, is up here I put all the hubs so it's actually really nice like you can just lay a person's hard drive here and the other thing Dan yeah this telefunk and AR 51 sounds killer how are we doing with the bulbs what are we doing oh, now that's Marco? all done now we're doing some computer tests nice how you doing over there Dan this thing's a pain in the butt to clean all this isn't it yep Every single one of these, they're all time consuming. Yeah. You know, it's just, there's so many pieces to take. Like the actual cleaning of it takes a second. Right, it's, it's just, just getting to it. Getting it apart. It's dirty. <laughs> oh, dude. So there's your automation, huh? Those are your VCAs? Yeah, and there's the main there's master your main. fader. Wow. So that is. Oh, that's all 48. Yeah. One. Oh, right, 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 because we're backwards. Yeah. Oh, wow. So that's pretty cool. Look at that, there's me moving the faders. Look Dan, I'm, I'm mixing. <laughs> <laughs> I have master channel one and channel two. Up yeah. Three and four. We set up all these mics and I've been having all my buddies come in and students demoing them all today to kind of hear them. Surprisingly, this Latin is awesome, man. <laughs> On, on the, the girl that just left, kind of doing, she's kind of like doing the Paramore Evanescence thing. I thought this was the best. Uh, 87 was a close second, but man, that was awesome. And the AR-15 was awesome on the Pop Girl today. That's like more like the C-12 thing. Cool.
checking all the channels on the board. It's coming together. So I got my protocol I had to set up from when I want to run out through the board, stem out mixes. Um, this guy's stuck. I'm going to fix that. It's VU, desk output in mix mode. And in my 688 section, or yeah, 688 section, A, B, and C to program, 8 track group, A, B, C, and program. And that will get me bringing it. In the, uh, bring the music, bring in the, the individual tracks through the board. This is, is going to be awesome. I tell you, I've been having so much fun the past two days messing with this thing. And I mean, I'm just getting the basic feel of where things are and can't wait to really dig in, man. This is going to be just killer. Bebopping while <laughs> we're SSLing. <laughs> A bunch of these were loose, huh, Marco? A couple of them were, yeah. This Hi, I'm Tad Donnelly, and I'm speaking in behalf of Expert Village. I'm giving you tips on how to make your own recording. You're taking, you're taking notes, right? Over yeah. here. Up here. The bad boy. This is the one that's being used at Capitol Records. It's used there, it's used at Sugar Hill, it's used at all the big ones. I got it here, and you got it here for 45 an hour, okay? <laughs> this is the, this is the, um, the Newman U87 $3,000 vocal mic. It is magnificent. K AKG, put, AKG puts out a $600 mic. Sometimes... Mm -hmm. You, it kind of takes a roof out of your, off your mouth. The bottom of the roof kind of like falls off sometimes, and, you, and there's a frequency that misses on that AKG. And I'm not, you know, I'm sorry, but I used it for seven years, and I know I had to EQ it to get it, get my get my roof of my mouth back up in my face, <laughs> get that all back to normal. Well, this, no problem, man. If you're going to get a mic and you got got some money, get the Newman U87. Don't waste your time on anything else. Don't. You'll never. You'll have a perfect. Just, just bring up the EQ a little bit up on the, on the top end a little bit. Just like make a nice little curve on the top. You got yourself the best sound you could possibly get. That's it. Wow. Easy. That in a bag of weed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's how I learned how to do uh, do the studio. I've been, I've been studying. <laughs> wow, that's wonderful. We got a couple of those Newmans. Yeah. Newman. Alfred E. Newman? Yep, N-O-O-N-I-N, -O -O Newman. What can I do for you? Dude, I've been reading the audio forums like Ear Sluts and the DUC for a long, long time, so I know a lot about recording. I've been working on my yodeling hip-hop CD, but I am having a little trouble recording my voice. Since you are a 17-time Grammy Award-winning engineer, I'm hoping you can point me in the right direction. What seems to be the problem? Dude, I love the way you record singers, and I read that you use a vintage Neumann U67, or sometimes a Bronner or Shure SM7 microphone. I bought all three microphones to record with, but for some reason my vocals don't sound like what I heard on your CDs. Well, there's more to it than just having the right microphone. Dude, I know that. Please stop calling me dude. Sorry. <laughs> I bought a Neve 1073. That's it. Wrapping up day 15. Short day. Yeah, I think Marco... Uh, Went to Danny Carey's birthday party last night, and, and uh, he was all he could be, kind of like the army. <laughs> Happy birthday, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Marco was in the cake. Yeah, Marco was in the cake. Oh, yeah. I think I took a picture of the cake. The cake was Danny Carey in a... It was a Danny Carey cake. Here, I got a picture of it.
<laughs> that was the cake. Nice. <laughs> That's funny. All right, man. So we're getting there, man. We got we figured out a couple little things we fixed in the patch bay today and the board and is all the automation all programmed or whatever now, I guess. It's all working. There you have it. Day 15. But we're getting close, aren't we? Yeah. I mean, now it's just final tweaks. We changed all the light bulbs that were broken. Um, yeah, it's coming together, man. I'm having so much fun on this thing. This thing is friggin' awesome. <laughs>